Okay, let's continue. Here's a woman at a Trump rally trying to talk about critical race theory, and she doesn't know anything. Well, private school? Private. Private. Clear for. Yeah, okay. So I was going to say, as a parent, what's your thoughts on what's going on of the indoctrination of our kids with some of the CRT and some of the other really radical you things know, that are. It is really stressful. I mean, is, the huh? things that they're trying to. This woman is so stressed that her kids were told about history. Kids these days, it's just not right. You know, if it's, it, if it goes against God's word, then it's wrong. Mm. Which God? Because there's like a thousand different gods. Which one do you mean? Here's another woman tr you, trying to use language to communicate. Um, yeah, we, we've talked to them earlier about hanging flags. Let me ask you a question. In your neighborhood that you guys live in, your work, whatever, Trump's flag still flying? Oh, absolutely. Oh, uh, yes, it is. <laughs> you Wherever. I mean, listen, a place you've seen on TV, where you live, where you work. And is, is Trump's flag is up? wherever that is, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen my front yard. Hey. Never went down. <laughs> my, my porch, everybody, and we said, if, if you want to find our house, look for the house of flags. Right. We have 10 flags on our porch. I love it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I, just, I just did a promo for MyPillow.com and MyStore.com because I said, if you, have, if you don't have a flag in front of your house, hang on a sec, you know what you're saying? I'm un-American. Right. Put a flag in your front yard. You have to. Right. Can I can't even take this guy seriously with a tan suit on. You know, if he really wanted to be taken seriously on these issues, he'd be he wouldn't be wearing a tan suit. Here is a guy in a blacks for Trump shirt. Now, here's why I love this. We've seen these folks at so many rallies and then we try to find information about them online and there's like no information other than a very strange website. And then they disappeared for the last several rallies. And here is a guy. So let's listen to a guy. A, a person that comes to your aid helps you all the time. And then when he really wants to come to your aid, suddenly he's a racist. When he was the first one to say that black people matter to him, he said it directly to me. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> this guy's touching the interviewer a lot. He said it directly. He's also an extremely close talker. This is a very weird interview. To me and and the, um, and the I forget not Joseph Caterson, but uh, Miami Knights. But he's done so much for the for the black. Anybody know what this guy's talking about? I have no clue what this guy's talking about. Here's a guy at the Trump rally says he's mad. Jimmy Kimmel played my clip from the last rally. I remember a couple weeks ago. Uh, this gentleman right here was criticized Itleman. for having too many hats on his head. Our good friend Jimmy Kimmel called you out. So Jimmy Kimmel uh, made fun of me for having three hats. Well, now I have two <laughs> hats because inflation is getting high. I only can afford two hats this rally, Jimmy Kimmel. So eventually we'll go down to one hat. But Trump rallies matter. This is my 46th Trump rally. We love Trump. I'm going to see Trump next week in Nebraska. I thought, was is Nebraska on or is it canceled? No, I guess it is on. I guess it is on. 